Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Zigamara. Today we are looking at a popular market, one of the largest markets in West Africa, Lagos International Trade Fair or JAW, along Badagri Expressway. Today I'll be taking you around the market. That's I'll be giving you the market road map. The way you can easily access to the market, where to get what. Right now we are on top of the popular thread fair bridge. Popular thread fair on that bridge, but we are on top of the bridge today. So as you can see, we are moving, we are progressing. The market is a very big market where you can get virtually everything you want everything you want that's if you know your way this video will help you to navigate well in the market when you look down you will see lots of umbrella that's actually umbrella shading people who sell under the bridge those people they sell okay assorted that is where you do bend down select select pay select pay that is where you do it from the top bridge you can see the network of the road we are fast approaching the market it's a popular market where you can get cosmetics the market is divided into different segments we have the balugu where you get the provisions food item cosmetics all those groceries and all those sort of items then we have the segment where you get the jewelry that's the gel then we have the segment where you get the shoes that's mandala this is the gate this is the gate to lagos international trade fair market then we have the segment where you get tires Auto as an auto pass is called at Spanda Trade Right now, we are heading towards the Abia Gate. Abia Gate is part of is an is a part of the, is an is a gate in one of the gates in Balogu Market. We have um, main gate, Balogu main gate. I will show you the main gate. But right now, we are heading towards the Abia Gate. So, what happens around this Abia Gate? From Abia Gate, you enter Abia Plaza where you buy different items ranging from cosmetics things in family of co cosmetics from abia gate you enter plateau plateau plaza where you buy assorted types of hair human hair quality hair both non-quality hair if you want to go for quality one well, you have to put your eye to the ground because everyone is there this is the abia gate you enter from this gate there are other plazas, but the popular one here is the Abia Plaza, the Plateau Plaza, and lots more. Thus, the car garage where you park your car. There is a parking space in the market. If you just come into the market, you only pay a token to park your ride. So, the market has a very good road map. You understand? It's well structured. This is actually a small gate is called rivers gate from this gate you enter the rivers plaza in rivers you get wholesale price for all your cosmetics makeup makeup to be precise right now we've left the abia gate we are going towards other gates still on the balogu segment of the lagos street fair market remember what we get in the balogu segment cosmetics food items clothing everything you you use at home you get it electronics all of them you get it in but this is popular sokoto plaza from this place you meet in sokoto plaza you get lady shoe clothing not just sokoto you also get it in all your plaza you see guy people are still building they are still building plazas those are private plazas the ones inside the fence by your left hand side is part of the balogu market those ones by the right hand are the ones outside and they are still part of the trade fair market so right now we are heading towards the balogu main gate meanwhile this is mandela's 
mandalas new mandalas when you hear of twin tower this is where it is the new mandalas so you see the road is very beautiful ironically beautiful because at some point you will get that you notice the camera shaking that's where the road is extremely beautiful and amazing so the market is a fun place to be this video is actually there to encourage people who have not been to the market to have an idea of what it takes to walk around the market do you understand it's a very nice place for you to go and shop it is a nice place to shop because virtually everything you need apart from human beings you will see it in the market where you get your household item get your automobile this is the popular balogu main gate of lagos street fair not the lagos island this balogu main gate this is the main gate you see this is the main gate opposite is a car lot for people that do way view delivery this is the pastel the main gate after the main gate we'll be heading towards the kb plaza on the kb plaza we have the old mandalas in the lagos street fair where you buy shoes ranging from quality high quality low quality the truth is that the people that deal on the high quality they are not so much do you understand but they are still in the market in Lagos Street Fair, you can find anything you want to buy. Most of these plazas you are seeing, some of them are not actually in full use. Do you understand? When you enter inside the market, you notice that some plazas are vacant. They are not in use. Some have been converted to warehouse, parking shop, and lots more. Some some plazas are not in use. Thus route now you this route you will take it to the motel there's a motel in the lagos trade fair and lake lake side is it lake view they call it there's lake so this road now you take your way to the motel where you can lodge so this is the popular old mandalas the gates we are now heading towards the gl where you get access where you get to buy your jewelries that's why it's called the gl that's the jewelries gate the main gate for the jewelry this the opposite is a new side they say the new plazas people are now selling jewelries inside these new plazas too by your left hand side is the main gate if you want to enter the jewelries market anything jewelries and jewelries accessories of jewelries you will get them there earrings necklace quality one low quality high quality anyhow you want it is there that's why it's good to actually know your way or know the dealers of the quality ones right now we are heading towards the tire village look at africa tire village this place you get anything that has to do with tire tubes all of them inside there after the tube and tire we will we look at still part of the apt market apt market is where you buy the jewelries and accessories not not that you is only jewelries you will see there you still see other items but what is majorly known for is what i'm telling you you can still see we had stores where they sell perfume sell and, and some other thing makeup but the main what is noted for is jewelries then by the right hand side you will see the popular tools and hardware market tools and hardware look at the entrance tools and hardware center this place you buy tools industrial material tools you know when i say tools and hardware you know what it means then after that we are heading towards the popular auto pass Auto pass is what I always call it. That's what people call it around this place too. But it's actually also known as Aspanda Trade Fair, Aspanda Market. It's actually Aspanda. I've forgotten the full meaning of Aspanda. Really, it's, it's quite appalling, but you don't have to blame me for that. That's the Aspanda New Gate, the Auto Pass New Gate. It's called New Gate. After the new gate, you will see the first gate, 
the second gate the third gate before heading towards the main gate by the right hand you will see the segment for the motorcycle spare parts this place motorcycle spare parts motorcycle spare parts all these places we are not we are with the onset of when the market started they are all kind of new you understand so virtually anything you need you will find it inside Lagos trade fair market when I mean trade fair I mean the main Lagos trade fair market or Joe by Badagri Express we just passed the second gate I think we are heading to what we just passed the third gate we are heading towards the fourth gate the fourth gate before we connect with the main gate you still see plazas by the right they are all private plazas private plazas some use it for offices some use it for parking shop warehouse by your left you know is the main market federal government property so i still heading down heading down towards the main gate auto pass main gate one good thing about this um, market is that it's like a spherical in shape it's like a circle this is the fourth gate it's like round do you understand i don't know if you get it is in a circular way you enter from this gate you can walk around walk around and come out from the other gate it goes round because i'm taking you round the market right now we'll come out from another place and connect with the abia gate too this is the popular main gate auto pass main gate from auto pass main gate when you enter you see series of bank and another thing good about this market is that almost all the banks are in Lagos street fair the ones you do not see in balogu you will find them here in auto pass yes i think they have up to three fourths bank in this market one in auto pass another one in apt that's jewelry side then one in balogu in GT Bank is only one inside the market. We have it at Auto Pass. The GT Bank is at Auto Pass. Then other banks, as in, it's not a market where you will go to and be and be like queuing. If you if you if you know if if they just queue in Balogo, you take a bike to Auto Pass, and this is still Auto Pass main gate. Take a bike to Auto Pass and do whatever you want to do. I would say that the market is of an international standard the only problem a little bit problem as um, a market a buyer I say what would I call it myself as a buyer is that the road is so beautiful <laughs> when I, I mean I mean uh, I mean ironically beautiful during the rainy season people in the market they they go through a lot as you can see there is water logging here but that's not the logging i'm talking about i'm talking about potholes potholes not having a smooth road based on the future you'll not be able to understand what it really is those are the containers the by the left hand side is still part of the auto pass market the right is another fence leading to Ojo Barracks, I believe that's the offense. Ojo Barracks side, but by the left is still part of the market. All those are new, new plazas that, what will I say, Igbo boys are still building. Everybody, they want to have their own plaza. Thank God for that. So, Nigerian government as a whole is actually generating a whole huge sum of revenue. Massive from this market. Massive. I mean, massive. You'll notice the camera is kind of shaky based on the smoothness of the road. Right now, we are almost off the auto pass. That's the Aspanda Trade Fair. We are heading towards the main trade fair complex. We are the Lagos International Trade Fair. is actually what was actually designed to be because they have an edifice massive beautiful building well organized as of the year the time i attended the lagos street fair was in the year two, 2008 
as of the year 2008 when Odena was very small with a, a young person's eyes the market was so organized as of then because the trade fair it would be it, will, it, it was conducted inside the complex inside this fence now when you look well you will see the massive building where it was actually constructed for the Lagos Street Fair. The idea behind this market, I would tell you, is a genius. The people that planned it, structured it, their bundle of talent. And I just hope that the, the, the market is manifesting their purpose. But it's quite a pity that most of the trade fairs the trade fairs, the annual trade fairs, there is no longer holding inside the complex. We now find, look at the fence to the beautiful complex. Does we have most of the inside this fence. When, as we are advancing, I will zoom a little bit for you to view most of the beautiful building. So, right now the annual trade fairs they are happening on the open field which is not actually meant to be because there is a position there is a building designed for it and you now see that does some of those buildings they are lying waste not being utilized you get not being the structures are there not well managed and I, I will actually I don't really I will actually have to dig into to know why is left bare so some people will tell you it's because the distance from Lagos Island to the mainland is too far that's why it's no longer happening the way it's supposed to be still those those things by the left is still part of the trade fair complex look at you see the design you see the structure you see that fine building by your left I'll get to zoom it that was actually where a building design structured very beautiful if you enter that place oh my god i remember the view as of 2008 if you enter you will see it well organized this is actually a place designed for lagos stretch fair inside the place where rain will not be beating you sun will not be hitting you just come and look at look at the building look at the building look at it it's, whatever you want you get it inside there as so of that 2008 I witnessed do you understand so after this place now we are heading back to the Abia gate so you now see that the market goes round it rotates round you can come in when you step into the market you can drive through your left hand side pass through Balogu pass through GL Mandela's auto pass as you are advancing advancing you still go round after passing the whole of auto pass you still connect with the abia gate do you understand abia plaza this is balogo as that's reverse gate down there and towards as we are advancing you will see the abia gate this place is actually for beautification of the market you see poles that that we are mounted for different flags to accommodate flags of different nations. It used to be very colorful then, you understand? It used to be very colorful. But I still believe the maintenance can still come up. So we are heading out of the market. From the market, you can view afar to see the bridge. And by your left, you can still view to site the main trade fair complex. And others at this gate, uh, they are generating a lot of money. If you come in with loads, you pay. If you go out with loads, you pay. That's no matter in Lagos. But if you come in with your private car, you don't really pay. It's just those truck, truck and buses that pay. So here we have come back to the popular under bridge. From inside the market, you'll be hearing under bridge, under bridge. Abia gate under bridge Balogu from auto pass be hearing Balogu Abia gate under bridge. This is the under bridge. Abia gate I've showed you Balogu I've showed you. So this is under bridge. This is where like where the journey started, and we will still be heading out. We entered from the other entrance as if you are coming from my two. In fact, if you are coming from my two, if you are coming from um Vogue's, you will all enter from the same entrance. Just that one is on top bridge, one is below the bridge, or I'll call it under the bridge. Then if you're heading out, 
you will still head out from the same entrance one lane for people going towards um, barracks and force the other on top bridge for people going towards my two side so you now see that everything about this market is organized in as much as the maintenance structure is not as it ought to be but it's still a very nice place and beautiful place and the market actually provides opportunity for lots of people as you can see outside the market people are even as far as down as far as under bridge people are still selling the market continues ahead ahead which was just shown is what we call article market that's how you get baby items hello thank you for watching my first youtube video it covers lagos international trade fair market or job by badagri expressway i hope you enjoyed the video if you've not been to lagos trade fair before you as in <laughs> the video is as good as you visiting because i believe i covered the much i covered much there are people that have that are, they've been coming to the market they just go to Balo, but they don't know where it's auto pass they just go to auto pass they don't know where as in they don't not everybody have the privilege of um getting the knowledge that i am able i was able to cover on the video please if you find it interesting kindly drop a comment if you do not find it interesting share drop a comment and i would like to urge you to support me please i mean i'm new to this platform i'm new to this circle kindly support me by subscribing to my youtube channel subscribe please help me spread the gold the gospel to your friends tell them to come subscribe like comment if there's a place you would like me to cover on lagos mainland kindly let me know i will be glad to do that from time to time i'll be dropping some interesting videos surrounding society and lifestyle and then personal development um videos and also i want to use this medium to give a big shout out to my friend my childhood friend who actually encouraged me to venture into this type of video you can check her out i will drop her link she covers most places in the east and Umbra state and she's no other person than jessica chinwe oba i'll drop her link she was able to she she, she really gingered me to produce this and i want to say thank you to her you can check out her vlog if you are interested in viewing places in the east she she's doing justice to that as well and i want to thank you once again for coming into my channel please if you've not subscribed kindly do so support me i'm pleading i'm on my knees kindly support me it will go a long way to encourage me to receiving to producing another video and um i want to say thank you stay cool stay fine stay safe till we come again and remember don't forget your comment means a whole lot to me i'll also drop my facebook uh, id so that if you want to send a gm on something you something you want me to talk about you have a direct access to do that thank you bye bye